everyone, welcome to Let's Play Two Worlds 2, episode 27. So, we are trying to sort out this drought quest. Just to double, triple check. Interesting. Alright. So. How do we get... What's the next part of that quest? Would I guess be my question? talk to Alton and uh, quest be done. Supply long prayer. Do you have any news? I do. I think I found your drinking water near the acacia forest and the termite mounds. Can't miss it. Are you serious? It's not exactly ideal, but your people have little choice. A tribe of Varns was digging there in search of water, so I believe it's the right place. Excellent. I'll mark it on your map. Have your people dig here. Yes, I will send someone immediately. Now, you'll help Lima begin trading with them again? You know, it's not that simple. It's not my decision. What? Although I rule here, I still have to discuss each of my decisions with uh, someone before taking any action. With who? I can't say much here. If you want to know more, go to the lighthouse. That's all I can tell you now. Ooh, and the plot thickens. I should have jumped off the dock.
So this lady is the boss. I'm glad to see you made it. I was beginning to think you weren't coming. You were expecting me? Yes. Altan told me everything. People are starving, and I don't have time for pointless discussions. Can the trading arrangements between Halion and Bayon be restored? No. Why? Who are you? Why is Alton so afraid of you? I work for the Mangano family, and my partners don't approve of your actions. People are dying. We have to do something. And we will, when Alima steps down. She is as lazy as she is stupid and cares little for the people of Bayon. She'd rather watch her people resort to eating horse meat than lead the rebuilding efforts on the damaged fishing boats. You want to take over the village? And save the people of Bayon from starvation and death. If you aid our efforts, you will be well paid and receive a writ of protection providing safe passage through the gate on the path to the desert. No. I'm not going to be your pawn in this game or playing with people's lives. This corrupt political struggle ends here. You will regret this decision. You might kill me, but the Mangano family will seek retribution for your actions here. I might kill you. Oh my word, stop it. What's wrong with you, man? Man, it's been a while since. Since my bags have been full. more and more powerful. Man. I'm not even that far into the game yet. I didn't need to complete upgrades.
damage crystal, resistance crystal. Oh, all right. Oh. Is that blood on your hands? Sometimes her hands get dirty when solving other people's problems. You killed her. You killed Salen. Do you have any idea who she was? I did. That much she made very clear. But... but the Mangano family. I'm more than happy to show the Mangano family the same courtesy I did Salen. Now... You will send the first delivery of food to Bayon today. With Salen dead, I suppose the decision is yours to make. Glad to hear it. There are a lot of people that need food and supplies, so I suggest you begin preparations now. As you wish. But remember to watch your back. The Mangono family is not likely to let this go unaccounted for. All right, let's, uh... People can't stop talking about you. I guess word travels fast. The first merchants came to Bayon today. The entire village took up a collection in your honor. 300 auras. But I have a gift for you as well. Please. You don't owe me a thing. I insist. My husband was a tailor before he left in search of food for us. Sadly, he never returned. I'm sorry for your loss. Don't be. He died trying to save the ones he loved. That makes him just as much of a hero to me as you are to the people of Bayan. I still have some of his work. A collection of trousers designed for warriors, archers, and mages. I've never seen you fight, but I imagine a man like you could use some extra armor. I prefer to fight a man face to face. Then these will surely serve you well. Thank you so much for your help. <laughs> Who is this person? I can't thank you enough for what you've done. I don't have much of anything to show my gratitude, but I could help you enter Jade's Marathon. Another race? What would you expect? When we're not eating horses, we breed them. It's kind of a tradition. All those who enter must bring pints of cumis from Halhin, Jaban, and Oros. Pints of what? Cumis! Fermented horse milk <laughs> with just a touch of liquor. It's known to lighten them. Another time. What's, the, what's reward? the reward? Each rider adds something to the pot. Auras, clothes, expensive souvenirs, Sambu... How big is the pot? The surprise... Can Sambu be trusted? Of course! That is, assuming you aren't stupid enough to take a piss on his child's grave. Ready to bet? Fifty auras gets you... 
too steep. If you win, your pockets will be so heavy you might need something to. the money still getting your money you figure it out hmm It's a pleasure doing business with a man such as yourself. You look like a man who knows what he wants. How can I be of service? Hmm. here So it can be used infinite number of times, infinite number of times, infinite numbers of times. actually does. Hmm? Bring me the money. 30,000, like you said. Pleasure doing business with you. Enjoy your new estate. Oh, and if anyone asks, you don't know. Let's see. 
two corpses in the bedroom. Not a good, uh, not a super good look. She's the sole proprietor of a shop called Umbrella Heaven, which sells some kind of device that guards the user for the ring. Unfortunately, her latest supplies seem to malfunction shortly. She asked me to visit the house of all our customers. I was going to see they're all right. First, I should visit the house of High Mayor, a professor at the university. I feel like these things would be a lot more dangerous in more open spaces. doing get out of here I'm looking for Orlav does he still live here you can't just barge in here like this I said get out <coughs> I have to warn him about something warn him about what this is going to sound a little strange but he recently bought a dangerous item from a vendor who's hired me to perform a recall can you tell me where he is <sighs> bird watching there's an exhibition the one day out of the year I don't have to clean up their shit. Thank the gods. Next time, don't come here uninvited. These are unusual circumstances. So what's this item you're so worried about? An umbrella. It's a device you hold over your head to shield off the rain. This one seems to be defective. Where is this exhibition? Sounds like you might need one where you're going. Otherwise have fun picking their dung out of your hair. Those damn things. H here's the address. 
looks useful. Excuse me, miss. Is everything all right? My name is Sol Pan, and I'm not all right. Anything I can do to lift your spirits? You may be good at playing the gentleman, but you have nothing to offer that can help me. You'll have to excuse me. I didn't know. I'm sorry for your loss. It was many years ago, during the creation of the Swallows. Dear Tal was a student at the university. When everything was destroyed, reducing the old campus to dust and ruin, he went missing. Many lives were assumed lost. That's awful. Were you close? He was my lover. I've long since put it behind me. But we never truly end our mourning for those we've loved and lost. Found a body which fits and his description. Yesterday, he found a body which fits his description. From my understanding, the creation of the swallows happened. The body was still fresh. Which means either the rot never set in, or he never died. He was wearing a bracelet I gave him as an anniversary present when he died. As grave robbing is a veritable industry in New Ashos. I find it hard to believe he was ever buried. The only possibility is that he... That must be hard Well, yes. Of course it's he possible survived. he survived and has been living all these years in silence. I never saw them put him in the ground. But if he did... The scavengers. The untouchables that live outside the city. Considered by most to be peasant thieves. They don't just live outside the city. They live in the swallows themselves. Their very bodies brim with the same filth that pollutes that place. They are monsters, not fit. Wouldn't he at least try to write? Perhaps. Perhaps not. I can get it for you. That would be most generous. I haven't done anything for you. But if you're offering... His body's at the edge of the... I'll get Deer Tal's... I should be going. Thank you. You're selling. Identify yourself. I'm a friend. What's going on here? A terrible curse has been loosed upon me, birds. It's that freak umbrella. From what Blue Via told me, it sounds like we're dealing with some pretty sinister black magic here. You're lucky to be alive. Yes, well, I don't see how ranting about it does us any good. You're welcome. My thanks. But you'll understand if I'm not in the friendliest of modes. Especially if you're admitting you work for that witch. The nerve she could have to send one of her thugs out. It wasn't her fault. Bluvia didn't know her product was defective.
Might as well. Alright, this is where I think I'm going to leave it for the day. Thanks as always for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I will see you next time.